Hello, YouTube. <laughs> I feel like it's been such a long time since I've been on here. And I have gone through many processes. And I'm excited to share a little bit of what I've been going through and what I've been processing. And while we do that, I'm going to take down my hair. So hopefully I get it in this try because if I start taking down my hair, then it's, it, this is it. Okay, so this is going to be it. And I feel like spirit will guide me to say exactly what I need to say in this video. And uh, thank you for watching. So, yes, deep breaths. Um, so I kind of, my birthday just passed. Basically, it was May 29th. Um, I turned 34, so I'm excited. And it was my first year celebrating my birthday in Florida. And it was it was an adventure. We'll just say that I ended up drinking um Aya, and uh it was uh, pretty intense to say the least. Um and also, uh, basically, a couple of days after that, uh, my mom passed away. Um, she had stage four lung cancer, and she's had it for like, she's she had it for um, three to four years. So the doctor said that she would only have six months to a year. Um, but obviously they were wrong, um, which is a good thing that gave us more time with her. But, um, I don't even know what to say. I don't know what to say. I am, I am used to being vulnerable with you guys and I really don't know how I'm feeling or, you know, how, I really am processing it. Ooh, it's kind of like, I don't know. I've talked to uh, a couple of people about it and uh, I feel okay. Like I, I saw her before, a few days before she passed, like, few, like a couple of days before my ceremony. So I went and visited her and um, yeah, it was beautiful and it was what I needed. And I hope I gave her what she needed. <sighs> wow. <laughs> I feel like I'm uh, processing this uh, with you guys right now, like in this moment. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to surrender to it. And that's what I'm going through. So, uh, <laughs> I've been getting triggered lately, you know, since I drank and since all this other stuff is happening and, um, it's been kind of wild. I don't know. Um, there was a situation that, uh, some people I got close with, um, I felt like they kind of like, push me away and it is okay but like I was just holding on to that situation like so tight and I'm like why why is this triggering me why can't I just let it go like I'm holding on super tight just let it go and of course like I'm like I've vented to somebody you know I just drank ayahuasca so like I'm just like, blah, 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 you know, word vomit everywhere. And so like, I like to seclude myself a little bit and, um, and try and be quiet and process because Lord knows what I might say or, you know, I don't know. I don't know. So word vomit comes out and like, but it was how I felt and, I was still triggered by the situation and the reason why I was triggered by the situation is because fear of rejection, fear of abandonment, you know what I mean? And and when you let somebody in and you you're like, "Okay, I feel secure enough 
with these people to let them in and like trust them, especially after like being in the spiritual space, the spiritual community and um, drinking Aya or whatever mode of spiritual practice you've taken, um, you're more open. So um, I think it's just really teaching me how to set up boundaries and, you know, like, I already, I really recognize when I get triggered and I try and figure out, okay, where's the stemming from? And most, most of the time it's fear of rejection or fear of abandonment. So, uh, you know, with my mom's passing, it's kind of like popped up a lot in these last two weeks. And I'm like, trying to breathe through it and work through it and I don't know how to take down my hair like there's this piece I don't know what's going on and you know it's not just the hair it's everything and the hair is about to trigger me like I just I am trying to work through it and breathe through it so you know that's why I haven't been making videos. What am I going to say? I'm trying to figure it out just like all the rest of us. And, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I can tell you what helped me. And, and I mean, you know, I'm trying. I don't, I don't know. I just want to be honest and real, you know. <sighs> Like, it's okay not to be perfect and to love your imperfections. I'm not perfect. And I'm not saying that with, like, any, like, to be ashamed. Oh, you're not perfect. No, I am not perfect. Embrace it. Like, I am imperfectly perfect. Like, <sighs> I've just been working on that and breathing, like, ever since... Uh, my ayahuasca journey for my birthday. Um, I breathe clear and like I I don't know I've never breathed like this before, and like I I don't even know how to explain it. Um, I was born with asthma, and I used to have to do an inhaler and have a breathing machine and all this other stuff. And I pretty much grew out of it. And I was allergic to cats and dogs and all this other stuff. I'm still semi allergic to cats, but like dogs, I could have a pet dog anytime I want. Like that just completely went away. And basically I grew out of my asthma, but after that ayahuasca journey for my birthday, like I can like breathe like it's just so much space. Like I've never breathed like this before in my life. And it's really helping me move through the space I'm in right now. Like uh integrating and just just breathing. Just deep breaths. Like it as often as I can remember, even sometimes I'll just concentrate on my breathing for a while. <sighs> like dealing with this hair. Like I just gotta breathe through it because I have no idea like what's going on. It's just wait, hold on. Maybe wait oh wait, hold on. Hold on. I think we got something. Oh, okay. Whew, okay, y'all, this is stressing me out, but I found it. Okay, yes. Mm, it was like a puzzle. I feel relieved. <sighs> okay, yes, there we go. I was about to rip my hair out, y'all. It was like the frustration, but you got to realize the frustration is not with my hair. It's with like all this other stuff. And, you know, just work through it. Just do the best that you can. Give yourself grace and compassion. It's a process. And, you know, if somebody has an answer, like, tell me. I'm all ears. Like, I just, like, even with I, I'm like, just, 
like just tell me like you don't have to beat me up but like just just tell me like try telling me and like not uh traumatizing me jesus like please oh yes oh my gosh you guys mm, that feels so good just freeing my hair Mm. There we go. Okay. I don't even know what else to talk about, y'all. Like, uh, that's it. But I think that's all I got for y'all. Um, I wish I had more. I went and visited my friend, and it was beautiful, and his family who are so wonderful and so beautiful and it was just I haven't seen them in a long time and you know it was really beautiful I know you're like how many times is she gonna say beautiful a lot because it was and I love them and they're amazing and I'm so grateful I got to spend that time with them and I got to see some family because I went to Atlanta you know um after my mom passed uh so I got to see some people and that was really good rejuvenating for the spirit and now I'm just figuring out trying to figure out my life I'm really I'm trying to figure out what I am supposed to be doing with my life because I know it's supposed to be something dealing with spirituality and you know, I, I don't know, like whatever I'm supposed to be doing, I would love to like figure it out because this like working like just to live, which is fine, but I want to have a purpose behind it. You know, I want to help people and, and, and help myself. I want to evolve and, you know, be around like-minded people and, you know live my life in truth and all that hippy dippy stuff like I really mean it though like I I love this it's the most fulfilling thing like volunteering and holding space for people and and traveling and, and meeting like you guys and brothers and sisters of all walks of life and and just showing how connected we are really like it's beautiful and i'm lucky and grateful for this opportunity and to have you guys in my life i just you know i'm working on getting some more videos out and i really want to um start doing interviews so like interviewing people well not really interviewing like podcasting having a conversation I hate saying interviews because it's not an interview it's a conversation so even if you're interested I have a few people lined up and you know I'm just putting it out there that's the plan so we'll see how it goes um and I appreciate you guys for watching my videos I feel like for me to have all this breath like I feel like I'm out of breath too like I don't know. I thank you guys for holding space for me. Like that felt better. And I do see the therapeutic aspect of doing YouTube videos like just now with you guys. And um, thank you for holding space for me. I hope uh, one day to be able to hold space for you guys. Um, thank you so much. And hopefully the next YouTube video, I actually have an outline or or something to talk about, and, uh, yeah, peace out, I try and, like, comment back, or, uh, for the comments, I appreciate you guys, I try and stay as interactive as possible, but there's a lot of things going on right now, and, like, I'm processing myself, you know, so, um, if there's a space in between, um, you know, it's just me trying to figure out shit, and figure out life, just like all of us. And I wish you luck and love and light on 
you guys' journey. And uh, thank you. Thank you. And uh, blessings. <laughs>